Hi all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide to APT where in this one we're going to be looking at session control which is part of session craft um, it's had a lot of updates for 4.40 and it makes it easier to do a lot of things that you might want to do with your imaging sessions so let's get straight into it because this might take a little while now session control is the middle section of session craft and in 4.40 it's had a number of updates which are making it quite a powerful tool for your imaging sessions um, it's still not quite as good as doing scripts but the most people will find this more than enough for what they need to do uh, now having said that there are a few problems at the moment that will be fixed in version 4.41 for those who have a uh, purchased the key but if you haven't purchased the key and running the demo version, you're going to have to wait to version 4.50. But for those that have to wait and for now, you can do a couple of workarounds and I'll go through all this right now. So the first thing is with your execute plan at time. If you have this enabled and your plan starts and you're running along merrily, 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 but for some reason or other you need to stop the plan, um, for some reason or other at the moment session control uh, does not recognize that the plan has been stopped it will stop the imaging of course but if you change plans uh, it will keep repeating the next plan you start so I had the situation the other night I had it running set to go to the altitude of 30 degrees and it was all going well then the clouds rolled in again uh, so I stopped the plan uh, switched over to do a flats plan and started my flats plan and walked away for a couple of minutes came back to find it doing a second run through my flats plan if i'd have gone away for 10 or 15 minutes i probably would have ended up with with four or five different groups of my uh, flats instead of just the one and the only way around that is uh, when you stop the plan is to go into session craft uncheck the execute plan at time and then close session craft um, I'm pretty sure that's how I got it to stop. I was busy at the time, but that's the only way I could get it to stop repeating plans. So that's how you need to do it. That's a bit of a work around there. The second problem is uh, when you add or edit a plan, these three boxes at the bottom are checked by default. Um, it's not so much a major issue for creating a plan, it's just when you click the OK button, it'll tell you to put a time in or an altitude in, or you haven't selected an, uh, a plan. So you need to go in and uncheck them. Um, the other problem you have is if you're editing one, you can't edit a plan while these three are selected. You need to uncheck them, then edit the plan. A um, bit of an issue, but it's quite a problem for me so that's just something you need to watch out for and be sure that if you're editing a plan especially to uncheck these three boxes unless you have a plan selected in next plan so that's what you get there uh, a final problem which is a big issue and again these are all going to be fixed in the next version is if you use a go to plus plus for a move to an object uh, the problem i ran into the other night was that in my go to plus plus in my point craft settings i use an l filter i use uh, four by four binning and uh, apt point craft and session control managed to screw things up <laughs> to say the least the point craft went fine i got on target and everything else but when it switched back to running the plan first up it failed to uh, change the filter back to where it should have been um, it failed to change the binning to where it should have been um, it kept the image exposure as it should be 300 seconds I had at the time um, so that was fine um, but then it screwed up the file naming as well and the fits header um, the file was named using the settings in the camera tab so it came up as an L 4x4 four four binning uh, and 120 seconds rather than what was in the plan it did take a 300 second exposure rather than the actual time listed down here and was named in the file um, but it was definitely taking a 4x4 four four binning plan which wasn't good with the L filter uh, 
And then in the fits header, the only thing I got right in the fits header from the actual image was the exposure time. Um, everything else was set to what was in the plan. So the fits header actually showed 2x2, two two, um, H filter, and everything else, despite the fact that that's not what was actually being used. Now, Ivo has come up with a workaround for those of you who need to wait to 4.50 or until 4.41 comes out, and that is simply to uh, go into your plan you have and add a line at the top here, which uh, a zero exposure time, a count of one, and a pause of five to 10 seconds. Uh, let that be your first one, and um, put that up as your first line in it, so that when it does the plate solve and everything else, it'll come in and not do a one, because you've got a zero second exposure, and then it will change over and hopefully do everything right. I haven't had a chance to test this workaround uh, simply because it's raining again and that's what it's been for like for three months so this should work but uh, if it doesn't let me know so I can pass it on to Ivo or we'll go to the forums and let Ivo know. So that's the workaround you need for that. Pardon me. Okay so now we've got into all that um, I'll show you what you've got in here. So this is plans you may have to execute at particular times. Um, so you have an actual time uh, or whether it's following another tagged plan. And I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, what the plan actually is. And if you're using next plan, you'll have the next plan listed here. So we'll go into, I'll edit this. I won't edit the top one yet. Um, I'm going to edit that in a minute so we can see what's going on. So I'll go to uh, edit this one. And as I said, these boxes automatically checked again. You cannot edit a plan with those enabled. So make sure you uncheck them. So for these, you create a tag. This can be whatever you like. It can be an object name. It can be anything. Um, I've set them up as dark flats because that's what this is going to be. Uh, then you select the plan you want to use. Uh, of course, I'm going to use my dark flat plan. And then you've got ways you could start it. You can start it at a particular time. Uh, deep sky darkness, start of astro night, on start of nautical twilight. Or in this case, I'm following a tag. If you have a tags for another one, I want it to go after my dark tag. So that's what's selected there. Uh, just remember like your start of astro night or whatever. If you have it offset for your astro night set in your settings, uh, it isn't included in this. Um, so in my case, Astronaut, it could start 50, uh, 20 minutes earlier and finish 20 minutes later because I'm doing narrowband. So just remember to take that into account with what you're doing. So I've got this following the dark plan. Now, if I wanted to make it as a go-to object, and this is what makes it extra powerful and extra easy, I can get it to go to a particular object, um, go to plus plus or just a plain go to, but generally you'll want the plus plus for it to get right on target. Then you can near or blind solve. Depends how good your mount is, what you need to do. And then you simply go to the object browser, uh, select an object um, as it comes up, and then click your OK. I'm not going to do it because I don't want it to go anywhere. Uh, and it will fill in the RA deck and the object name. And when this is used, it also sets the name of the object for your object name for your files and everything else so it uses the uh, set object name command and actually does the renaming and what this allows you to do is if you have one plan you know one type of exposure setting you use for multiple targets uh, especially in one night um, instead of having to create a separate go-to plan for each one you create a single plan and then load it up in here and set the go-to in here so I generally image it uh, 600 seconds uh, for mine in HA filter or whatever filter I'm using. And now I can set up one plan for my HA filter and just have it used for multiple targets if I want to change it in the night because all the go-to and everything else is handled in here. So that's what you can do in there. Um, I'm not going to keep that because I'm simply not doing it. Now the next option we have... Uh, oh, sorry, what I'm going to do here is just to show you how this works. I'm going to go into edit. Remembering you can't edit a plan with these selected. Yes. Um, so uncheck them first. Uh, what time is it? 12.55.31. Okay, so I'm going to set this up at uh, 12.57. Okay, so I'll set this up to go at 12.57. 
um, for its start time and okay so that's now set oh 27 can't even hit the right button can I 57 thank you very much oh god no I've got to go back in here because I didn't uncheck these first and they need to be done first not second otherwise you won't be able to edit uh, so what time is it yeah I'll still try for 57 okay so now I'll check the execute plan box and to make sure this is working I'm actually going to close down session craft and come back into it again so hopefully in a few seconds well, 30 seconds this plan will start everything being real but while we're waiting I'll go on to the bottom down here of course you can pause a plan while it's in action and you can delete plans so you, whatever one you got selected it will delete so that's that part there to add edit pause and delete so underneath the bottom here um, we had uh, you can start the plan on a plan on a an altitude so you just select the plan you want the altitude you want and check that box uh, you can start it on deep sky darkness again just select the plan and okay so the plan start you can see here is set the object name um, which was my first command so that was zero and now it's doing my uh, darks so that'll be fine there okay so back onto this so you can start it at astro night remember your offsets you set in your settings aren't included in these so this will actually start at um, an extra 20 minutes so 36 so 436 and I've selected a plan that will um, go through uh, I'll show you my parking warm and shut down plan get out of there um, on the editor it's just I just do them as a um, framing plan so here it is I've got a plan to uh, park the mount warm the seat warm the camera uh, power off the CD power and then shut down the computer so that'll run and, and that'll happen at um, the end of Astro night tonight which will be well after these are finished going but I didn't want to upset things I suppose I could have added another plan in to do it but um, oh actually I might do that um, I'll add a plan in so I'm going to add one uncheck these boxes um, so I'll give this uh, I'll just call this shutdown okay so I've given it a tag name uh, I'm going to select the plan which is uh, park warm and shutdown I want it to start after a tag so I'll go after dark flats so that's done I don't need to worry about anything else in here and then I'll just click OK so that's been done now so now I've got three plans following on so I've got the darks going the going then it'll switch automatically to the dark flats and after the dark flats are finishes it will do the park warm my camera turn off the uh, fan and shut down the computer so that's how, what you can do there um, and like I said if I was going to different targets all this could be done with one actual plan created and it'd be able to do it without you having to add in the go-to's and everything on your plan so I hope everyone understands that one um, but that's it for session control I will be going into a deep dive video which is going to go right through session control creating plans uh, using commands in the plans if you need to and even covering a bit on scripting um, I'm not too up on scripting at the moment but a couple of people have, uh, someone has given me a scripts to look at just to show you the power of them um, it's been almost 20 years since I did any scripting I used to do scripting in games um, for mods and that but uh, it's been a long time so I need to get myself back up to scratch on that because it's quite powerful what you can do with a script um, but for generally most people uh, session control even I found normal plans were working quite well for me only because I understood what I was doing using the commands and everything else but session control makes it a lot easier and it uh, reduces the number of plans overall you need to create by being able to use the same plan on multiple occasions for different targets but I'm going to end this right here right now I'm getting a bit croaky in the voice so I'll finish this up and I wish us all clear skies and I will see you in the next video take care all